To be a good writer, I think you first have to be a good listener so you can get someone's story. Diane Gage Lofgren should know. She is a journalist, an author, and a public relations professional. Since I was little, I like to write. In fact, I wrote my first book in fourth grade. So by the time she arrived at San Diego State, her field of study was set. I thought I was going to be a writer and um, wanted to make sure whatever career I had involved journalism. And, you know, I didn't know then what the opportunities were. Just one thing after another led me to jobs that involved writing and communications and really protecting an organization's brand. She started her own firm and throughout her career worked with and for some of the biggest names in healthcare. Her success always driven by her talent for telling stories. The greatest satisfaction I think is being able to tell stories that touch people's hearts. And when I worked in healthcare, there were a lot of very interesting stories. One of my first books actually called I'll Never Walk Alone was when I worked at Children's Hospital and a young girl had lost her leg to cancer and I was watching her walk with a prosthetic leg and I turned to her parents and asked if I could write her book. And it was her story and it was called I'll Never Walk Alone. And even with an amputation, she was the school mascot. So I love stories that inspire others and that can give people hope and will and courage. No matter where her achievements have taken her, Diane has always maintained ties to San Diego State often returning to campus as a guest lecturer. She and her husband, Matt, established an endowment to fund scholarships for students in the School of Journalism and Media Studies. I think it's important for others who have graduated from here to give back because the education I got was tremendous. And she hopes to ensure that the next generation of reporters and writers receive the same. My um, connection to San Diego State is important because I got such a great education here. And my professors were not only smart, but they were very kind. And they also spoke the truth. For which this accomplished journalist will always be grateful.